What's going on guys? Ants Trades back with another video. Um very disgusting day. Not what we were looking for at all. Um Spy took a pretty bad hit. AMC took a pretty bad hit. Um definitely not what we were looking for. Um I will say that things do not look as bad uh as they seem. And I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna be very transparent. Uh, I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. I'm gonna let you know what it is, uh what I'm thinking and uh what we're going to be looking out for so really quickly uh just taking a look at the spy um saw a pretty big gap down uh from friday's close opened the day at 402.77 uh early in the morning we saw a bounce to 405 and then came all the way back down and closed right on top of our trend line of the descending broadening wedge um Overall, not the best day. Uh, volume was relatively low, which is good. Um, not the best day, not what we were looking for. It's actually not as bad as it seems. I'm going to get into that right now, actually. Um, I'm, I still think this is bullish, personally. This looks bullish to me. Uh, you're going to have red days on, you know, on a bull run. It's just You can't just be green every single day. I'm going to get into that. Um, this is this is very clearly bullish. This is higher lows, higher lows. That's what you're seeing from this bounce here. We've been forming higher lows um, over and over. It's higher lows. Still looking bullish. Uh, like I said, volume was relatively low, which is good. And we found a catch on our, our descending broadening wedge. Um, I'm going to jump really quick into the one hour and show you guys what I'm looking at right now. Um, it doesn't really look as bad as it seems, in my opinion. Uh, this is our, our our bull trend that we have going on right now, uh, from this uh, from this low here, this higher low that we formed from the bounce here. Um, really quick, you find this bounce here, higher low there, and we've been on a bull run, and this is our bull trend. So, again, not really the day that we wanted. Uh, you can't be green every single day, which is fine, but this is the trend we got going on right now. And we found the catch right on our trend line, and as well as the trend line, it intersects with our descending broadening wedge top trend line, and this is where we found the catch, which I think it looks good. Um, found a bounce right on it. You closed right on top of your descending broadening wedge. Uh, it's good. That's that's a good thing. This is this is bullish. I'm expecting a bounce off of this. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Today was gross. Not what we wanted at all. I am fully expecting a bounce off of this tomorrow. Very bold prediction here. I think we might see 410 tomorrow. I'm just being honest. I think we're going to see a bounce here. Um, let me just be very clear. Uh, the market is going to make a decision tomorrow. The market is going to make a decision. We are either going to find a bounce here, probably a violent bounce in that, or we are going to crash right through our descending broadening wedge trend line and start seeing some downward price action. I do not think that's the case. I still think this is looking bullish. I still think we look good. This is a healthy pullback. RSI cooled off a little bit. I think things are looking good still. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to jump back into the daily really quick. Um, just touch on the EMAs again, which again, this is looking very bullish. Um, so here we go. Uh, even with today being a hugely red day, this is the sixth day in a row closing over your 200 EMA. The 20 is creeping up. It's very, very close. We're probably one or two green days away from seeing a cross here. And right behind the 20 is going to be the 50. And that is the golden cross. If we see this 50 curl up here and cross this 200, this thing is going. Um, I still think it looks good. This is a healthy pullback. Bounced right on, on top of the wedge. We have our bull trend. Found the bounce there too. I think it's still looking bullish. Um, I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. Things are still looking good. Higher lows. Higher lows. Higher lows. Higher lows. Found the bounce in the trend. The bull trend. EMA still look good. Um, again, volume was relatively low. That's good. Health, healthy pullback. Um, still bullish. Still bullish on that. Um, that's pretty much it for the SPY. I think it looks good. I'm going to be honest. Uh, you can't be green every single day. It's not how the market works. You need you need pullbacks. That was a healthy pullback that we saw today. I think we're going to see a green day tomorrow. Um, expecting 410. Just going to be honest. So 
now let's jump into AMC. Um, at first glance today, this was not really the day that I was looking for, and not the day that any of us were looking for. Um, I mentioned uh, sub-5 bearish. Uh, we did come down to 495. Um, very, very slow day. Uh, very, very slow day. It wasn't really looking good. We got the bounce that we needed, closed over $5. Um, still looking good. Still following the fractal. I'll pull it up really quickly again. Still following. It never stopped following this whole time. We're still following. Bottom out, bottom out, find a bounce, retrace, retrace. Same thing. Still following. Um, today was a little bit more red than I would have liked. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but we have completed our retracement. I will say that you do not, you absolutely do not want to see anything lower than where we are right now. Uh, maybe we come down to 495 again tomorrow. Um, I do not want to see anything lo lower than that. Let me jump into the one hour charts really quick. All right. Um, so, yeah, you do not want to see anything lower than this. I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to bullshit. Um, let me pull these up really quick. All right. So, uh, from our rejection, again, this trend line is off sometimes with the one hour charts. We hit this trend line and got rejected. This is where we are in our, our fractal. Um, this is your, your uh, retracement here and your pattern that the retracement is forming. It's a falling wedge, uh, which is bullish. And really quickly, uh, we'll start with Friday. Uh, Friday, we got the, the, uh, the double bottom I was looking for found a bounce, slightly broke um, out of the descending wedge. Um, after hours, you, you come down a little bit, and then pre-market this morning, we gap down back into the wedge, trade in this range on our support uh, early on, and then at open, and for the most of the day, we we're just coming all the way down, broke to the bottom of the trend, and then last hour of the day, we poked back in, closed about two or three cents under it and then after hours right now we're sitting right on our bottom trend line um like i said before the market is going to pick a direction tomorrow um spy is sitting in a very very interesting place right now it's sitting right on top of its descending broadening wedge it's sitting right on the bull trend line um i'm expecting the spy to bounce tomorrow uh, i think amc will follow with that this um our pattern here is going to play out tomorrow um, this comes to an end tomorrow morning. We are going to see uh, a move tomorrow, and it's going to be up or down. I'm just going to be—I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to bullshit you. Uh, tomorrow, I—I'm I, expecting, I'm hoping to uh, reclaim this wedge and break to the upside of it again. You could see we, this was respected for all the time we traded here. Broke out of it, came back into it, broke under it, came back into it again. Um, like I said, you do not want to see less than this, this level here, this 495, absolutely not. Um, if you break this level, you're talking about 480-ish, uh, and that would be very, very bad. We do not want that. We do not want to see 480. Um, if, if you break 495 tomorrow, if, this, if, if we come back down here and this doesn't hold, and then you come down to 480, uh, it's looking really bad. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to I'm going to be straight up. Uh, if you come down to 480 off of this, if you get rejected and come down to 480, this thing is coming all the way down. Um, like I said, tomorrow is going to be a, a, a decision day for the market. I, I think it's going to it's going to make a move tomorrow, up or down. I think it's going to be up. Um, you know, if spy crashes through its descending broadening wedge and has a a hugely red day again, uh, AMC is likely going to follow. I really don't want to see that. Uh, you have a gap down here to, oh my, 410. Um, really do not want to come down to this 480. We do, we, that's the last thing that we want. We don't want to see anything less than this. Um, with that being said, and this is probably bold prediction too, but I think we are going to come back into this wedge and break to the upside. I have 
still no reason to think that we're not going to our retracement is complete we came back to the bottom um we're gonna get a move tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get a move tomorrow um up or down so you know if spy starts ripping we come back to this, this wedge and break through it's it's pretty it's we're, we're looking for really a 20 cent move to break out of this uh that will give us the momentum that we need uh breaking out of this will give us the momentum to get back to the top of the trend line again this should be a little bit lower um but yeah let me jump into the daily really quick again and get these trend lines off this is as low as i want this to come um we do not want to come any lower than this if we do a straight up we're going we're coming back down i'm just going to be honest um we don't we we want to bounce here we still have the w here we want to bounce tomorrow i'm just going to be straight up with you guys um the trend line tomorrow our macro wedge is at 565 um I, I still like I still have no reason to believe that we're not going to see a green day tomorrow. I'm going to be honest. It's still following. It's still following. Um, I'm fully expecting a green day tomorrow. I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, you break this level, you're coming back down. We need to hold this level. Um, if we see green tomorrow. That's probably going to push us out of the micro wedge in our retracement pattern that we got going on. If we get pushed out of that, that momentum will likely take us to the top of the wedge and break us out of that as well. If you break 495 and start coming in, into like the 480 level, um, we're coming back down to the bottom of the wedge. So that's that. Uh, it's still following. I mean, you could see it. We don't want to come any lower than this, though. So. That is pretty much my take on that. Today was such an ugly day. I'm not going to lie. Miserable. I was very unhappy today. Um, really, really just looking at where the SPY is, though, um, it, it, the move does make sense, especially if the SPY is about to see a huge bounce, um, and that could pull us up as well. Uh, today could have also been the algo um, hunting stop losses, you know, preparing for a rip. Um, we're going we're gonna to find out tomorrow. This thing is, we're going to get a decision tomorrow. Um, at the very least, I, I want to trade sideways in this range. At the, at the absolute minimum, I want to see this thing trade sideways here. Uh, anything lower than this, it's not looking good, guys. Just going to be honest with you. So that's really my take on that. The volume, uh, relatively low. I mean, really not much to say here. Very, very ugly day. Not what we wanted at all. Um, tomorrow's, tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow is, a, is, a, is it's going to be, uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out tomorrow. Like I said, um, really quickly back into the one hour. I mean, this is what we got. You know, this is our rejection off the wedge here. And we're just bouncing back and forth. You know, double bottom here, breakout. Um, after hours come down, pre-market gap down back into the wedge, and then all the way back to the bottom through, found the bounce here, and then bounced back up into the, we're pretty much back into the wedge now after hours. Um, and this descending wedge is coming to an end tomorrow. So uh, at, at the bare minimum, I want us to be in this wedge trading, uh, bouncing off the top and bottom side of the wedge tomorrow at the bare minimum um if we break this again if we break this level i want to make this very clear if we break this 495 and come down to the 480s this thing is coming all the way back down i'm fully expecting a bounce tomorrow i have no reason not to expect a bounce tomorrow the bars pattern has been following for over a year legitimately over a year since November end of November 21 until today bars pattern has been following perfectly um, today might have just been a psychological day for the algo um, you know hunting stop losses trying to shake out any last paper hands that it can 
straight up, if we break this level, we're coming down. Straight up. If we break 495 and come down to the 480s, we're coming all the way back down here. Straight up. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Uh, we really want to see a bounce um, tomorrow. Really, really want to see a bounce up tomorrow. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to drag this video out. I'm just giving you my take on everything. I still think we are looking good. Um, we're going to find out tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day we're going to find out. So that's really all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, not going to lie. Pretty nervous for tomorrow. I will not lie to you. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. We closed over five. That's great. Um, you know, we're at the end of our wedge from the retracement. So we're going to see a move tomorrow. And like I said before, the spy is in a very interesting place as well. Um, and that is really it for this video. So heads up, you know, things were not great today, but it's still tracking. Uh, spy, healthy pullback, found the bounce off its off its bull trend, found the bounce off the top of the wedge. Really hoping for a bounce in the SPY tomorrow. Really hoping for a bounce AMC tomorrow. And that is pretty much it. We will find out uh, the direction tomorrow. So I will see you guys then.